What's up guys, my name is Diachronic Ghost here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be talking about the Dawning. This is your ultimate guide to everything Dawning about the all the ingredients, how to farm, the general information, my overview, all the recipes, the stuff from Eververse, the uh, pretty much everything as well as the Exotic Sparrow, everything. I'm going to be talking about everything in this video that I do know about. Um, I hopefully have covered pretty much everything you're going to need to know about the Dawning event, uh, but if I do miss something, make sure you leave it down in the comments down below. And for this video, obviously we're going to be going with some cute reindeers on this. Actually, I take that back cute polar bears on the screen now because we are in the festive spirit and it's gonna be festive spirit from here on out for the entirety of December speaking of which the dawning event is actually an event that's going on right now from December 11th to January 1st the dawning event features no extra activity you know no wave defense in the infinite forest it's just an integrated cookie baking activity you basically create cookies with materials and ingredients you find along the wild which I'll explain a little bit later and then you cook them in an oven and you give them to different NPCs in the tower where they'll give you different amounts of rewards uh, randomly as you give them. Now, gifted cookies have a chance at blue gear, purple gear, the new avalanche heavy machine gun, mods, enhancement course, planetary materials, glimmer, and legendary shards. Now, as I just briefly mentioned, there is a new exclusive heavy machine gun called the avalanche. Now, this is a machine gun only coming out with the dawning and has a drop chance on every single cookie gift, as well as a guaranteed chance on the first Galar Doodle to Zavala on each character. Now, what makes this very amazing is that every time it drops, it is a random roll chance for a heavy machine gun, which is really awesome. There's also an exclusive of exotic sparrow to get called the dawning cheer with exclusive and very fun christmas cheer like uh, perks which i'll be talking about a little later on there's also 12 new dawning triumphs or a total score of zero to your triumph score uh, which will also allow you to get different things like dawning emblems and an exclusive ship from the triumph in a kind of just general overview of this activity it's a fun way to replay the same activities and do the things that we're already doing and it's also really nice to have a goal like the exotic sparrow you know for example horror story in the halloween event was really nice something to chase after to actually get to and then dismantle for seven masterwork cores it was really nice to go after these things and i'm glad that they're having a goal because in previous activities they've had a lot of activities where we just say hey go get the things for the for some reason and there was no end goal so I'm glad that they have it but in totality I would say it's not too interesting outside of going for your milestones because a lot of people are just going for power right now they're just approaching their 650 I just got 650 on two characters yesterday and 649.8 on the last character so a lot of people are going to be grinding out for that and just getting this along the way but outside of going for your milestones I don't really find that this is going to be too interesting anyways let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients and everything all all about them the farms the different ways you can get them how to get them all the different things so in general ingredients are used for baking cookies and a little note on that is all your ingredients will go away on January 1st so if you're making cookies you still have some stuff left over make sure you use everything you have as much as possible by January 1st now every single one of these ingredients can be dropped from enemies there's going to be ones for specific to enemy types for example you get cabal oil from cabals there's going to be specific to damage type like electric flavor from arc damage and you're also going to be getting essence from different kills or different activity completions. I'll be talking about all the different activity amounts that I have found below. Now you can see on screen now uh, the different ways to get the first ingredients and you can also get the second ingredient. Most of them are pretty straightforward, but some of them are a little bit odd. For example, I had a tough time getting sharp flavor and no taste just because I don't use swords a lot and I also don't use a lot of void weapons. So as you're going along, try to make sure you're using as many elemental weapons as possible and throw in a lot of sword play there because, you know, there's. I'm not saying you should sword fight. I'm saying that you should I'm gonna stop before I get ahead of myself on that one but you should try to use the sword as much as you can because that's one that was holding me back for a while once you have all the ingredients you need to start baking cookies all you have to do is go to your oven which again is delivered to you from Eva after her first initial quest steps and then combine a common ingredient a rare ingredient and a bunch of essence on screen now you can see a list or a graphic of all the different combinations for all the different 15 main cookies that you can create a couple of people on Twitter were saying there's some of them that are wrong on this graphic however I was able to get all 15 from this graphic so I'm not exactly sure where I went wrong or where they went wrong outside of this there's a 16th hidden recipe called the burn edge transit which is doing a combination that doesn't exist in this entire list which is something I highly recommend you do before finishing all 15 because once you finish all 15 of these you'll be locked away from getting the burnt edge transit and one of the hidden triumphs from the dawning triumph so make sure you create at least one burn edge transit give that to Raul and then you can complete all the other 15 because again you'll be locked away from doing edge transit altogether once you have completed all 15 of the main recipes you can then masterwork the oven which reduces the cost of each cookie from 15 essence down to 10 essence which is something you should do as soon as possible again after getting your burnt edge transit at least once if you're a bit short on ingredients and you don't want to go out there 
and grind for them, there's actually a couple of things you can buy straight from Eververse, three packages of increasing value for Bright Dust. The first one is 500 Bright Dust for 8 common, 4 rare. Second is 900 Bright Dust for 16 common, 8 rare. And the last one is 1350 Bright Dust for 24 common, 12 rare. In general, obviously getting the bigger package is more worth it per Bright Dust. However, in general, if you play this game nearly as much as I do, you're never going to need this because you're going to be going out there and killing all the enemies you need. And on top of that, it is random, so you're not going to be guaranteed something that you do need. You might just get a ton and ton of Ether Cane, which is something I did get and I did not need. And the last thing I wanted to mention about the ingredients is going to be the essence. A lot of the limiting reagents in your recipes are going to be essence. Since you need it for every single recipe, you're going to be needing to do a whole bunch of the bounties, getting a lot of kills, and doing a lot of activities. So throughout all of the different activities, I listed off the number you get from each one of them, um, and I've listed them on screen now as you can see them. Uh, these are all the different numbers that I've found while playing the game. Um, if you want to farm different activities, this is what you're going to be getting. In general, I would say the Nightfall is probably going to be your best bet because you get 34. I'm not too sure if this is just for the first time or just when you get the milestone or just when you get 100k and up or if it's based on score in its entirety. Uh, but when I did Nightfall, I got 34 to drop. And the second time I did a Nightfall, I get a little bit less. So it might be a little variable. I'm not too sure. But either way, this is all the stuff that I found in case you were wondering. Next up, let's talk about the exotic sparrow that you chase during the event called the Dawning Cheer. Now, this is a quest that's given after the first few cookies, after you do that introductory thing with Eva. And to get the finish of this is actually pretty straightforward. Just requires you to make 12 total cookies and three specific cookies. Now, after you do get the sparrow, you're going to have to upgrade it for those special glimmer drops and other perks to it. You get these three different quests from Amanda of increasing cookie totals, 36, 72, and 120 cookies respectively. Now this is actually an account based total by the way, so you don't have to do it on each character. However, you do have to do the two specific cookies on each character. Now once you do upgrade your Sparrow, you can get a bunch of really cool perks. The first perk called the Glimmer Boost. While boosting, it'll send out a Glimmer present that somebody can pick up in the wild. I'm pretty sure it's just one Glimmer each, but if you just boost directly into a wall and you have people standing on your left and your right, you're just going to be giving out glimmer like nuts and uh maybe in like an hour you'll get a thousand glimmer overall it's not worth it but it's still a lot of fun and the second one's gonna be glimmer trick you get a three to five glimmer uh when you complete a trick and it'll be a present on the ground for anybody to pick up both of these are only active during the dawning event itself so you can only use it up to january 1st but it is something interesting and fun and the last perk on it is instant summon which reduces this sparrow summon time significantly and the very last thing I wanted to mention about the Dawning event is Eververse. There's a whole bunch of vanity themed items everywhere along the Dawning event. Uh, there's double bright engram drops, the etched and the winter drift engrams every time you level up. There's new multiplayer emotes like chest bump, fist bump, and high five, which I have all three of, which I am loving. There's new sparrows, there's new ships, ghost shells, projections, shaders, transmat, and Dawning armor sets to get. There's also going to be purchasable cooking materials from Eververse, like I said before. And lastly, there's going to be some donning bundles with exclusive emotes inside of them if you want to spend some real money on some silver she does have those bundles for you and that is pretty much it for the video that was the entirety of my knowledge on the donning if there's something i missed again let me know in the comments down below because i'd love for this to be kind of a forum so you know to be able to see this video look in the comments down below see some other stuff that i may have missed and you will be fully understood for the donning event anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you leave a like down below if you did not enjoy the video here's one more polar bear to kind of tip you over the edge i know that's what you were looking for that's what you needed that's what you were waiting for thank you for removing that dislike and putting that like but anyways that's the video for guys today my name has been diachronic and i'll see you guys on the next one